like to call the town board to order. Quick, please call the roll. Trustee Fisher? Here. Trustee McDowell? Here. Trustee Frierson? Here. Trustee Holmes? Here. Chairman Neal? Here. First item is the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are there any agenda changes? First item of business, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting held on February 18, 2020 at 6.15 p.m. Is there a motion? I move we approve the minutes. Second. Motion second. Any <coughs> discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Trustee McDowell? Aye. Trustee Bryson? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Chair Neal. Aye. Are there any citizens' comments this evening? I will say that it was really nice to hear that the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in the room just about made as much noise as a whole room full of students who to leave. Thank you. Any other citizens' comments? <laughs> All right. Moving on to item seven, authorized bills for payment. Trustee Fisher. Yes, I met with Supervisor Neal this morning. And we'll review the bills. I'd like to submit total bills of $68,505.24 for approval. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Please call the room. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Trustee Adele? Aye. Trustee Farrington? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Chairman Moore? Aye. Aye. Item 8, receive and place on file the 2019 Zion Township Annual Report. Uh, in your packets, you have this one page. It's also in the annual report, but uh, the one page financial sheet. Uh, and just to um, share that uh, um, the ending for the town fund total expenses uh, that we had budgeted was $785,920. Uh, we ended up spending, uh, or we believe we will end up spending, because this is the projected, uh, $730,730.18, so a difference of about uh, $55,000. Um, and then with the uh, general assistance fund, uh, we had budgeted uh, 348 uh, approximately, and we'll be coming in at uh, $292,000 uh, rounded. Uh, but just so that you know, the thing that the, uh, the um, where we had gotten fined by the attorneys, uh, you can see here that our ending balances in each of those funds are lower than our uh, yearly expenses. So we are fine moving forward. Uh, the same thing was true last year. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we, we seem to be in good shape at this point. At this point. Uh, is there a motion to receive and place on the file? I'll move to receive and place on file the 2019 Zion Township Annual Report. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Trustee Rizal? Aye. Trustee Frierson? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Chairman Neal? Aye. Item 9, consider approval of the 2020 Annual Town Meeting. Agenda per uh, Chairman Neal. Uh, just to share with you that on the agenda, um, we have one thing that, that I want to keep on here every year is consider disposal of surplus property. We don't really have anything. We've got one desk that's falling down. We have a whiteboard that we took off the wall. Um, if we have anything, I'll, well, I'll also, uh, whatever list we have, I'll share with the board at the next board meeting just so that we have that. Uh, and then the other thing, uh, actually, uh, Clerk Spooner recommended that we move the township board meetings moving forward after the annual town meeting to 6 p.m. instead of 6.15 p.m. because so many evenings were butted right up against the city council meeting and I think personal preference so that she has a minute to breathe and change hats. <laughs> um, is, one of the other, is, is there any? No, the agenda looks fine to me. Perfect, okay. Um, and I think that's it. And so, 
and then anything any of the residents bring up. So is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Trustee Miguel? Aye. Trustee Bryson? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Chairman Neal? Aye. Item 10 is discussion regarding budget for fiscal year 2020-2021. Uh, and Sandra sent out an updated um, listing this afternoon, and I'll just to go through, and there's just a couple of things. So Trustee Fisher and, and business manager uh, Usher and I met, and going over the finances, um, what we discussed was uh, under disaster relief, uh, we had budgeted uh, $2,000 for this year, and we spent that money, and because of the situation going on, we. Uh, we decided it was probably in our best interest to raise that to $5,000 uh, just to have it in case, uh, depending on the situation. And we have parameters for, for how we dispense that. Uh, and then Love, Inc., I don't know why this was why we raised it to $2,000. I wanted to keep that at $1,000 still uh, for, for their support. And then, um, so that was two. And then under youth services, should we be able to have a summer work program, depending on how all of this goes, uh, Adriana wanted to do some uh, some extra hours, and so she asked if we could increase the mentor's wages from $8,100 to $9,000. Uh, keeping in mind, we get half of that back from the park district for, with our partnership. And then, let's see what else. So that is, those were the only updates under, under that budget. And then under general assistance, uh, the updates were uh, raising, so right now the uh, flat grant for, um, I wrote over mine, um, I don't the, what the, what we, I think the flat grant was 45000 was it, does anybody have it up, the general assistance? Um, that's okay, so, but what we want to do is we want to raise that to $60,000 based on this information, uh, the job training financial from 8500 to 10500 and then emergency assistance from, um, uh, uh, raise that up to forty thousand dollars, and so those were the, the the those three things under the general assistance. Other than that, um, we are budgeting in the red, um, but it is the intention to spend down a little bit of the surplus uh, to keep about a six month um, buffer there instead of what what I was always taught in the past was one to two years. Right. Uh, so that's all I got. Is there any any questions, concerns, suggestions in regards to it? Okay. Everybody's okay with, with the budget for this year? I really appreciate uh, Trustee Fisher and I. We literally went through it again today line by line, just making sure that everything was, was on the up and up and the rationale for it. And he asked some hard questions, and it was good. Thanks. All right. So, so the next steps with that, Cheryl, we would, at the April meeting, we would have the public hearing and the vote at the township board meeting? Right. Okay. Um, next item is the assessor's report. The assessor is not here. Uh, he has um, closed his office um, for at least two weeks uh, and said that he would not have this meeting. Um, so moving on to the supervisor's report, just to share with you, um, uh, right, what the what I decided to do in our office was to um, have a soft close. We have the office closed up, uh, but we're taking in people. Uh, we're doing appointments and individually, as somebody comes up, you know, we'll check with them to see if there's something that they need that we can still do. Uh, we had a couple of notaries where they desperately needed a notary for parents that were sick and different things, uh, and um, and we're doing a lot of phone calls. We had our senior resource day. We had to reschedule it, so we're calling each of those seniors to let them know and just check on them to make sure, see how they're doing. Uh, we're getting our very first phone call Monday morning was a senior that didn't have toilet paper. I swear to God, <laughs> I was so surprised. Um, but uh, but you know, talked her through reaching out to a neighbor, talking to she was uh, in an apartment complex, checking with management uh, to try and get neighbors to start to reach out to each other for for support. So yeah, so really hoping to be able to do that. Uh, just a shout out to Chris Kubik from uh, New Tech High. He's putting together a, a program. It's called Flips, Flips, Flip something. 
um, where the kids are being asked to teach everybody something, do something. Um, it's a, just a five-minute video that you can um, share with other people, you know, what you're doing to, to make time for it. Uh, Flipgrid, flipgrid.com backslash sign together too. So I'm sure that'll be coming out in the community to be able to be seen. Um, but other than that, uh, uh, just a few of the things that I shared. So the annual report, um, it's the uh, draft of it. We, we usually give this out at the annual town meeting, which is in April. Uh, but to have you flip through it, if you see anything that uh, needs correcting, um, we would appreciate that. Oh, I know what that was one thing. I was going to have Sandra change on the next to the, on the back page. It says board members, and it's got the board members from the beginning of the year. I wanted to have side by side the initial board members and the new board members. Um, so I'll have her fix that. But if anybody has anything else that uh, they see in here, um, questions or anything, really proud of last year. And it's so disheartening because we were like moving into this year, just ramping up from all of the successes we had last year. And it's everything so everything just seems so um, irrelevant right now. You know, just, you know, just have staff. And, and so, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very different time. So, and then the other thing that I handed out was uh, a job description for the assessor's position. Uh, I got word that they have canceled all of the classes um, for the assessor's position until June 1st. Uh, and so that might cause a little bit of a bigger issue for us to be, to be able to fill this position unless that works out. Uh, we'll have to just take it, um, see, see how all of this plays out. But I uh, worked with Larry Wiggins to put together the job description. And I was curious as we post this, uh, the, uh, should we also include um, the salary and benefits, or all of that is on the website with the what the what the position gets? Any thoughts about that? Um, you think that will affect the applicants? I think it's a pretty niche. Uh, it's very niche. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Same here. I could just I could just put on the bottom, you know, for benefits, whatever. Check our website. Yeah. So, they can, yeah. so there's some place to see it. Okay. Excellent. So we'll move forward with that. Um, and then other things. Uh, your questions are fully answered. Um, so yeah. So just um, just moving forward, we're just playing it, you know, playing it by ear, one day at a time, to make sure. Um, no idea how long all this is going to go on. They say that at least 70% of the population is going to get this. Uh, it's my prayer that my entire staff doesn't get it at the same time. I don't know. Um, you know, there's no way to play that out. So we're just going to be taking it literally one day at a time and see how things go uh, and do the best we can to support the community in any way we can. We uh, reached out to all of the food pantries, got an updated food pantry list. We'll be posting that. Uh, North Point Church had, is going to continue to have their food pantry open every Monday. Uh, Christian Assembly, uh, Abiding Love is also going to uh, continue to have their food pantry open every Wednesday. Christian Faith Fellowship will continue to have theirs every Tuesday. Uh, and so then there's other food pantries as well um, outside of the community that will, for now, um, say that they're also going to be continue. Uh, as well, uh, Donnell Staples from uh, Zion District 6 contacted us today to share with us that they will be continuing to do the meals uh, through spring break. They, they normally would shut that down, but they're going to continue to do that as well. The high school is also um, providing meals um, for people um, to do that. So she had asked if there was a way to do something for an evening meal, and I shared with her the, with the food pantries and the different things. She's like, all right, then I, you know, thank you. So she felt much better about that. So um, we're doing our best with, the, with Facebook, any information we get, to post it there and to share as much of it as possible with uh, uh, We Love Zion. Uh, as well, so without bombarding them, because there's been quite a bit of good information coming through. Uh, especially like people that are at home, their internet, uh, Comcast is, is providing free internet. Uh, and just to give a shout out to the city and all the utility companies, I, we had a landlord call today, because uh, he has several people that work at restaurants that run from him. And he was like, what, what do we do? He was like, we're going to give them as much leverage as we can. but." when it's time. And so um, Grace shared with him that, you know, we, we can definitely help with that. And we would hope that they wouldn't be giving out packing notices until this is over uh, and uh, give people a chance to, um, you know, make up for it. So and it was, uh, I contacted um, the
the city and asked if there would be a way that once this is over to have like a 30 30 day reprieve for people to actually get their feet under them because people get their water shut off it's a hundred dollar fine to get it reconnected and that it'd just be cruel to you know have people when they're just trying to get their feet back under them so um yeah doing our best to advocate in whatever way we can for you know for people so um yeah just one step at a time so we're the homeless right <laughs> can't even imagine even the churches it's i mean everything <coughs> and just to share this week was was uh, a hard hit we had um Trustee Frank Flamini, who was a trustee for the township, his wife passed. Uh, Sadie Watts, those of you who know Sadie, her daughter, Phyllis, passed away. Uh, uh, Bubba um, and Pam, now I'm not going to remember their name, uh, Christine Wartman's uh, uncle, he passed away. Um, and I'm missing one other person that passed. Oh, God, help me. Um, one of our founders of the Red Hat Society, um, Oasha Gallagher, um, passed away. This morning at 3:20 this morning, so um, she was 98. So lived a long, good life. So she uh, she did a huge service for helping to start that club because it's been a huge uh, blessing to a lot of seniors. So, um, so I, think, I think that's everything I have. Everything else just seems so frivolous. We do have an office full of zinnia seeds. <laughs> we have gotten we've gotten donations from eight different companies. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous seeds. Uh, so we're hoping that as this subsides, and even if it doesn't, if we can get seeds out to everybody, you can plant your own zinnia seeds in isolation, and hopefully it will help to bring in some some fresh energy. So when will the flats be? What's that? When will the flats be delivered? The flats are usually delivered the second to third week of May. So depending on the weather, so and uh, uh, Anton's, we actually had more flats uh, ordered this year than the first two years. So uh, it's moving forward with that, and um, they most people pick up at Anton's, but they've agreed to do a delivery to the township for anybody that wants um, to have them just you know, pick them up at the township. So um, our goal was to have a planting day on May 30th. I don't know how that is going to go, uh, depending on how all this goes, but uh, one day at a time. Uh, and then as well, we have the uh, the mural uh, competition contest is out on Facebook for people. So if you know of anybody that uh, enjoys art, especially painting flowers and butterflies, uh, please have them submit for the mural contest for the for the township funds. Um, just see if there's anything else. We're waiting to hear for some of our program what they're going to do with that. So that's all I have. Is there anything else to come before the board this evening? Any words on this coronavirus or anything you might want to share? Thank you said it all one day at a time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion in a second. You pick. Second. <laughs> Quick, please call the roll. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Trustee McDowell? Aye. Trustee Fryerson? Aye. Trustee Paul? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. This is how fast those meetings used to always go. I think the longest meeting was 20 minutes, and I got a lecture from one of the trustees.